Hello friends, welcome back to e-commerce project in Laravel 10. Last video we were discuss like a shipping charge inside a admin side. In this video we can cover like a apply shipping. Suppose you are there inside checkout page. So you are uh, choose any shipping same like cash on delivery, PayPal, credit card. So you need to choose like a which shipping do you want to do. Suppose I am going to our Mola themes inside you can see it like a cart. Like cart inside you can see it like a shipping. And here you need to choose like which shipping do you want to go same thing we need to do inside the checkout page so just we can copy your code and we can put here code and after we can make a dynamic after whatever total you are get here and this total again i will sum whatever shipping you are choosing so i in this video i will cover everything and i have one request you are new in this channel or in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you always get the notification and you can start immediately new thing learning and also do you want to develop any own website so do you want to buy any scripts so just go and you can buy the script and do you want to contact like about freelancer work so telegram whatsapp and skype you can use it and contact to me okay and uh, let's start now so first of all you need to open checkout page so resources views inside uh, product in sorry payment inside you can see it, checkout page just scroll down so you can see it uh, here is a free shipping means shipping parts so here we need to put our shipping charge like this one so just open your mola themes inside you need to open like cart.html so i already opens and i am going to shipping parts so just you can search and go very quick and very easy it is not anything difficulty here you can see shipping so just copy and you can put here okay and now you need to go to some space after you can go down and you can copy all three things and just put here let's go back again and we can check it's working not working design so i just go to back here I refresh the page so you can see it's shipping working very well like your type free shipping stand and express so now this one we need to show dynamic we have already done last video inside admin side just we need to show here dynamic and after whatever shipping you choose and we need to plus sum here suppose here is express the 20 dollar showing so we need to 160 plus 20 so is showing the 118 so let's open my database before my database open so we need to go app http controller inside you can see it like a payment controller here just search checkout otherwise do you want to go like a flow flow wise so routes inside web and here you can see it like a checkout page just scroll down so you can see it here you see payment control inside checkout so just we can make like a dollar data here make get shipping charge whatever spelling do you want to do it and here i can call my controller this is the controller get records and uh, we need to go to for this model not controller not go to model like shipping charge model here you can see get record just copy and paste here oh, sorry paste here and here you can tap like active like a get record active we don't want to need like an inactive record so just you can change a get record active so simple just you can make get method here and here you can make ascending orders is not deleted and also you can make like status is equal to zero means status is equal to zero means active records okay so you can see it like a shipping charge now now we need to declare this controller means this models in above so just copy and go to back up and you can declare here very easy very simple you can see it here now this is the variable inside whatever information you are get about shipping tables information like a name and price so we need to looping inside a checkout page so we have already copy paste so simple you can make a for each loop for each dollar has a ship whatever variable do you want to need you can do it and here you can make like a and for each and here you can trim we don't need anything so just remove okay let's save and just go back again refresh the page and you can see it here like a two free shipping free shipping 
now we need to make a dynamic suppose i am going to my e-commerce database and inside i can check like a shipping charge table so you can see it here like a shipping charge table here you can see name and here you can see price and also status and delete column also there like active inactive this reason i have made inside a condition like he is not deleted and also he is a active just we can remove like 20 i forget to remove okay so it's very simple very easy let's go to checkout page and here we can change like a name free shipping so here you can change the name and also we need to put here price so here price you can put two way first you can make condition if is not empty one minute is not empty one minute is not empty so it's going to inside suppose empty so no need to go inside and if and here you can show price price and also you can change your price and here also you can do number format so look like professional this reason okay it's very simple very easy let's go back again we can check is working not working and i just remove the comments so we can understand easily so let's save these files and just go back and refresh the piece so you can see it like a free shipping means the no price any so meaning about like free shippings so we're doing to deluxe so here is a price like inside deluxe but first of all we need to make some dynamic points like here is a free shippings one time show just remove this one and also you can remove here for otherwise you can make dynamic like this just you can copy and here you can put like a id and also you can put here id so custom control work very well this is the reasons okay let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it here now it works you see before not work now working very well so it's good now you are selecting suppose you are six five dollars so we need to plus whatever you did here suppose you are choose here so we need to make whatever before there like this so now we need to work like a jquery codes so simple you need to provide one class get shipping charge whatever do you want to write you can type your class name i just like this name so it's good for me this is not like a specific and here you can type like a price like data dash price okay means this is the one type of attributes price and here also you can make condition suppose price is empty so we can pass like a zero so our calculation wise no need to generate the problem so here you can understand we have passed one attribute instead we have passed our price and with condition wise now also we have create one class name so just scroll scroll down and here you can make a another one and just copy paste and here you can change this is the change event because of checkbox radio button is the all is a change event where price is equal to dollar this attribute data price so let's console log for the price so we can understand easily is getting cannot getting okay once you can save and open your spec element and you can try let's go back again and i open my spec elements i click on the consoles and i choose one so i choose the deluxe so you can see like five so i choose the free shipping so here you can see zero so i can choose deluxe again so five means jquery event working very well now what we can do here whatever price available like 160 available so we need to put inside 160 so now we need to work like apply discount code first so just go to apply discount code and here we have did so just you can make it like a payable amount without number format whatever there you can pass directly just remove the number format here no need to do anything okay because number format there so calculation not work so simple remove the number format after you go to checkout page like here and here you can put like a two fixed and here you can pass two okay so issue has been solved now whatever data you are getting here we need to show add inside an input box 
so just you can hear you can use like a hidden field any place do you want to like you can use input type text right now i just add a text after i can add a hidden field and here you can put like a one id get payable total otherwise whatever do you want to like payable total just you can type okay and inside you need to pass like a value whatever your subtotal so simple you can pass like this so it is done okay now you can go to back again and here you can provide also value just copy paste and also you can make semicolon here i have forget last time this reasons and here you can type well and we don't want to need any two fixed here just put whatever you are getting inside a amount this reasons okay so let's go back again and show you but first go back i can show you what i did first i am going to check out part like a discount code against and discount code inside i have removed the number format and once i back whatever value inside i will make a two fixed so whatever information we need to show so is a pointing value you can show here okay second point we have create one input box so input box inside we have pass like a whatever the total this total pass and after we have get is discount code wise whatever total we have pass here this reason i create one input box and we have provide like a one id and here id against we have pass like a back value okay so i hope you have clear let's go back again refresh the page so you can see it okay input box is uh, not hidden this reason showing let's me copy and i can put here okay otherwise you can put here whatever place do you want to put so look like a professional show your designs let's save just go back again refresh the page so you can see it now professional here you can see 160 suppose i am going to discount code well and i click on the applied so is it 16 dollars so automatic you can see 155 144 because it's the only discount code applied 16 dollars suppose i remove and i click on the apply discount code not found and also whatever information there like amounts is automatic showing here so now i choose the free shipping so whatever there this total we need to plus here suppose here is a whatever total there like five dollars so we need to put 165 here so simple you can get here total like a payable total inside a here where total is equal to payable total so hash well where final total here you can use like a purse float so calculation work proper ways sometimes is a in value about like a character value so is a calculation not work so we need to make a floating value otherwise you can make like integer value so we can use always this condition like a purse float so how to make purse float like price plus whatever there total means uh, with discount and without discount code we need to sum and after we need to pass same thing whatever there here just put here and you can pass here a final total and two fixed is very simple very easy let's go back again and i can show you refresh the page and just scroll down and you can choose this one so you can see 165 but here's a 160 suppose you can check like free shipping so automatic 160 and also you can see it 160 you can see 165 and you can type like a well click on the apply button sorry one put here so you can see 144 but now already selected deluxe so we also need to put like a plus like a 149 so how we can do it because our program is a 144 but our deluxe price is a five dollar so we need to get whatever attribute checked inside we need to get value so just you can search in google otherwise checked attributes will you get in html using jquery why i am searching using google because so you can understand easily this reason like input box check the attribute value get in html using jquery just you can search like this so you can understand you see like uh, i need to also understand one minutes otherwise we can use different way 
पहले तीस प्रॉप चेकड and here is a showing no no this is not possible work otherwise you can use chat gtp so also possible but i can show you like a different way we don't want to waste of time so what we can do whatever you select we need to use like one input box inside we can add a like a price so simple payable total inside you can go and here you can create another input box get free shippings here you can put like zero get shipping charge totals okay and just scroll down and whatever you can see like here we can provide this one so simple you can copy paste sorry here and you can provide inside a like a price whatever there let's go back again and i can show you how it works okay i already used like one another text box and inside whatever you choose here like a deluxe you can choose so you can add but i will refresh page so you can understand easily just deluxe you can see it not working receiving not working one minutes let me check why is not working okay here the html just you can change to well okay it is the input box this reasons so what do you want to print directly so you can use it like a html so here show zero so but i can choose five so five. here you can zero you can see now i'll upload the discount code apply like a well so whatever information here there so we need to plus here so simple you can go and just copy this name and go down here you can make like a where shipping is equal to whatever there inside input box we need to plus so where final total is equal to purse float same like we have did here this one purse float shipping plus whatever you getting this total simple you can make here also purse float and here you can make like final total okay let's go back again and refresh the page i suppose i can choose here deluxe so you can see 165 now i can put like our discount code well so you can see 149 means discount code 16 dollars plus your shipping charge so 149 payable totals so means it's working very well you can see it now so i hope you have clear about everything how to make a discount code in last few video and today we have check like applied shipping charge and so i hope you have clear let's make a hidden fields so we can't confuse so just go back up and here you can make like a hidden fields uh, where is the hidden fields here hidden okay let's refresh the page and we can check everywhere suppose i can choose first deluxe i have no discount code so 165 i can put well and i can put like this so 140 minus okay i don't need any discount code i just put again and discount code invalid so one showing again 165 so it's working very well we have no issue i think you understand better than me because what i did okay <laughs> because i to understand but i need to understand you so you can develop your side i hope you are clear like a discount and also you clear like a shipping so do you want to create a multiple so you can add in after whatever you can choose so automatic plus here working very well okay i hope you can clear and do you have any question so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and next video we can continue like check out once you press the place order so we need to get all the data and we need to save in said database and after we can use like any payment gateway here is a three payment gateway we already choose like cash on delivery paypal and credit card but also i am thinking like we can make inside admin side so whatever do you want to active so you can active also possible because static is not good for anyone so let's do tomorrow like check out page normal check out and after we can do it like a paypal and credit cards and i again request you can new so please subscribe and please press the bell icon and thank you for watching error solutions